versus add and subtract. <laughs> add and subtract. Are these rules the same? What I'd actually like to ask you to do, which I am going to ask you to do, is to pause this video and summarize quickly the rules you know about integers. So pause it, write them down, so you have a quick little cheat sheet for yourself. And if you don't know those rules, you've got to go back to the last video. Bonus though, I never actually showed you how to divide integers or subtract. So I'm going to show you how to divide really quickly because it's not too complicated. If I have negative 10 divided by negative 5. Now, the rules for division are the same as multiplication. Are these signs the same or are they different? It's a negative and a negative. They're the same. Same sign, they combine to make a positive. Double negative, right? So that's going to be positive. 10 divided by 5 is just 2. If this was a positive, Negative 10 divided by positive 5. Well, now these are different signs. They're going to end up as negative. You hide the signs and do the math. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Okay, so pause the video. Take your time and write it down. Welcome back. I hope you did really well. So, when I am multiplying or dividing, if I have the same sign or an even number of negatives, that means that it's going to be a positive answer. If I have different sign or an odd number of negatives in my question, answer is going to be negative. For add, if I have a positive and I add another positive, they're on the same team, right? What's the answer going to be? It's going to be positive. It's going to be a bigger positive. Okay? If I have four boys and I add three boys, it's going to make a lot more boys. Well, not a lot more, but if I have a negative, oh, but sorry, the positive are supposed to be girls. I'll change that. If I have a negative number and I add a negative number, those are the same. Remember, this just means we're going the same direction on the number line. I'm going back and back. This is going to equal a bigger negative. We keep the sign. If I have a negative number and I add a positive number, how do we decide? It's so whatever is the biggest team. Biggest team wins. Then you have to find out by how many. Remember, if I have three boys, two girls, I've got these two pair up, I have one boy left over. So if this is negative 3 plus positive 2, the boys have the bigger team. How many are they bigger by? By 1. Answer is going to be negative 1. So there's your lightning fast, super quick review. Do not mix them up. Add, multiply, divide. Add. Multiply, divide. Add. Totally different. It's like playing bluegrass and heavy metal. So, here we go. This is how you make up order of ops problems. We'll start with something really simple. Let's do three numbers. Positive 4 plus negative 6 uh, times uh, negative 4 equals random numbers. If you want to make it easy, keep your numbers less than 10. If you want it harder, go for it. Make it as big as you want. So this is kind of where I'd like my grade sixes to start and play around with. Now, this is where we get interesting. Multiply, divide, add. You now have two different sets of rules, okay? The first one we always look at is order of ops. That's the superior law. Bed mass comes first. Number two is our integer laws. You may want to have them out next to you. So bed mass, I have brackets, but remember, there's only one number inside. So this does not count as brackets from our order of ops. So I can move on. Any exponents? No. Division multiplication? Yes, I have it. I write down the rest of the problem. Here we go. Negative and a negative. Same sign. It's going to be 
Same sign, positive. 6 times 4 is going to be 24. E equals. Here we go. Now I'm adding. Be really specific. I've got 4 girls and 24 more girls. What's the answer going to be? It's got to be positive. Remember, if we have the same sign, it's going to give me a bigger one of those signs. 24 plus 4 is going to be 28. There we go. Bada bing, bada bim, balim. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Next one. Let's make this one five numbers. So let's go plus 6 plus minus 10 times plus 3. Uh, minus, no, can't do new minus, it's plus, plus 6 times minus 2 equals. Now, just so you know, you can also put brackets in here, right? For all of you who want to make this even more interesting, make, put brackets in, see what you can do. I'm going to show you a quick thing on uh, exponent integers after this problem. So this is really, is if you can do this, if you can do this kind of stuff and keep your rules straight, you're doing awesome. And if you can't, you're still doing awesome. But I want you to try at least like 10 of these. Okay, that's the work this week, if you're caught up. Okay, I, and let's make it five. Let's just try five. And if you have no idea what to do, I'll bring a worksheet. I'll give you a worksheet next week and we'll work through it on the board. Here we go. What's the first thing I do? Brackets? Well, not really. Should we put some brackets in? No, let's not. Um, exponents? No exponents. Division multiplication from left to right. Here's my first multiplication. So I copy down the rest. I'm not using it yet. Different sign. Negative. 10 times 3 is 30. Plus positive 6 times negative 2 equals. What am I going to do next? You look at it. Got a plus, plus, multiply. Multiply always comes first. I write the rest of this down because I'm not ready to use it yet. Plus, I get positive 6 times negative 2. Same sign or different sign? I got one lonely little negative. It's going to be negative 12. Equals. Now I do my addition subtraction. Ah, now, see how quickly you got a shift? I'm adding boys and girls. 30 boys. Six girls. Holy smokes, that's a lot of boys who've got to sit out. Which is the bigger team? The negative team. They're bigger by 24. Because 30 minus 6 is 24. Now I'm going to add. Hold on. There we go. Add negative 12. My goodness, that's a boy-heavy equation. So now I have a negative team and a negative team. So this is like going back from 0, minus 24, and then going back again, 12 more. So we're just gaining. It's going to be a bigger negative. This is going to be a negative. 2 plus 4 is 6. 1 is 36. Negative 36. Whoa, that's really hard to see. There we go. Oh, now I just messed up my whole setup. That's all right. Okay, so uh, grade sixes and sevens, that's as far as you need to go. Okay, if you can get to that, uh, or even just watch this and kind of get the idea. If nothing else, write the rules down in a journal, so when you come in next week, you're good to go. This next section is advanced work. It's primarily for the grade eight nines. But what you need to remember is what our multiply and divide rules state. Okay, if I have an odd number, of negatives, it's going to be negative. If I have an even number of negatives, it's going to be positive. Right? That's the whole next little thing. Let me get my camera to focus again. There we go. Is that focused? There we go. So, we are going to take a negative number, negative 4, and we are going to square it. Remember what that means. If I have 3 squared, that's 3 multiplied by itself 2 times. 3 cubed is 3 multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3 times. Okay? That's really what we're doing. So once you know that, we can start looking at how to expand this out. So negative 4 squared. 
How many negative fours do I have to have? Two. So I get negative four times negative four. Now you order of ups. What's negative four times negative four? Do they have the same sign or the different sign? Same sign. This is going to equal positive. Four times four is 16. This is actually a direct link to the odd and the even numbers. If I have a negative inside the bracket with that four, I do it two times, that's going to give me two negatives. So here, challenge time. I'm going to write down uh, five integers. Negative four squared. Negative three to the four. Negative two to the five. Negative six to the seven. Negative one. All we're doing here is I want you to tell me if these are positive or negative answers. Positive or negative answers. This one. Odd or even. It's even. It's positive. Power is four. Is it odd or even? Remember, what does this mean? This means if I have negative three to the four, that means I have four negative threes in a row. Remember what we talked about in the earlier video? I've got one and one. That's going to make a positive. Now I have a positive times a negative. That'll give me a negative. But a negative times a negative, that will give me a positive. One, two, three, four. This has got to be a positive. If I have five, I've got one lonely negative who's going to be stuck out. Odd is going to be negative. Odd or even. Seven is odd, negative. One, odd, going to be negative. So if you're feeling adventurous, what you can start to do is in your order of ops, I'm going to show you the big challenge. We go negative four squared plus negative six plus or times negative three squared uh, plus uh, negative one to the fifth. And let's actually put these two things in brackets. That's about as hard as it gets. So let's solve it. First thing, now I have brackets. Hooray, something to do. Inside my brackets, I have to look at my exponents first. So this is the number that I need to work with. So we're going to keep the bracket. Negative four squared. I'm going to do this actually just to make things interesting. Negative four squared. That's negative four times negative four. It's going to be positive 16 plus negative six bracket times, we're outside of the bracket, we can, we can solve these now too. Positive three squared, well anytime I have a positive times a positive, it's going to be a positive. It's going to be nine, a negative one five times. Is that odd or even? It's odd, very good. So that's going to be negative one. Sixteen plus negative six, here we go. Which rules do we use? Multiply or add? Boys and girls or odd even? This is going to be boys and girls. I've got 16 girls this time, only six boys. The girls win, not win, there's more girls by how many? By 10 people. Times plus nine plus negative one. Woo! Brackets are gone. Django, exponents are gone. Next thing, division multiplication. Bada bingy. Same sign, positive. 10 times 9, 90. Negative 1. A lot of girls. That's a huge girls team. We've just got 90 to the right. How many do I have to come back? One meager little guy. So girls win by a total of 89. All right.